This is not the first time when MSI is reusing an old platform for a new device. The Crosshair 15 we're going to review today shares the same platform as the Pulse GL66. This is why we were very intrigued when we saw the specs. These guys managed to fit an RTX 3070 Ti with a 140 watts TGP inside of it. That said, we really hope that they have found a way to cool it down. Stay with us, and we'll find that out together. The Crosshair 15 has a very distinct paint job. Actually, MSI did this to celebrate the latest Tom Clancy title, Rainbow Six Extraction from Ubisoft. Its lid is made out of aluminum and has a rather low-key design, compared to the colorful, contrasty base. Respectively, the latter is made out of plastic. Generally, the laptop feels rigid. Unfortunately, we were not very satisfied with the keyboard, whose key travel is okay, but the feedback is a bit soft. Looking at the touchpad, we see more of the same, small size, not the best click, but a very smooth gliding experience. On the left side, there is the power plug, and two full-sized USB ports, one 3.2 generation 1, and one 2.0. The rest of the input-output is situated on the right. There, you will find a LAN port, HDMI, USB Type-C 3.2 generation 1, another full-sized USB 3.2 generation 1 port, and an audio jack. On the inside, MSI Crosshair 15 has two DDR4 RAM slots for a maximum of 64GB in dual-channel mode. Storage-wise, there are two M.2 PCIe X4 slots with Generation 4 drive support. Check out our disassembly video to see how to open the device. There are four different IPS panels to choose from. In our opinion, 1440p at 144Hz is the sweet spot for mobile gaming so we've ordered one with it and we aren't disappointed. It has great viewing angles, almost 300 nits maximum brightness, and a good contrast ratio of 1050 to 1. Furthermore, the color coverage is great. 99.5% of the sRGB, and 98% of the much wider DCI-P3, resulting in a vibrant and punchy image. The only drawback is the inaccuracy but that's easily fixed with our design and gaming profile which makes the screen reach the professional ones, especially in the P3D65 color space. Yes, this notebook could be used for professional work with colors. Furthermore, it doesn't use harmful PWM. The screen is great but it has its impact on the battery. Even with its 90 watt hours capacity, it manages to provide just 7 hours of web browsing or 6.5 hours of video playback on a single charge. Still, not a bad result for a gaming laptop. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. MSI Crosshair 15 is offered with either the Core i7-12700H or the Core i9-12900H. As far as the graphics are concerned, you can get the machine with the RTX 3060, RTX 3070, or RTX 3070 Ti. All of them have a 140 watts TGP, which is pretty impressive. If you play on a 1080p resolution, GTA 5 is a perfect match for the 144Hz panel on high settings which runs with that many FPS on average. However, we'd choose to lower the graphics settings a bit so we could play on the native 1440p resolution. You could play Cyberpunk with 60 plus FPS on the native resolution, ultra settings, or with 80 plus on full HD. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Rayfield's mine. What? What are you doing? Get you got us? Looking at the cooling, we see two heat pipes dedicated to the CPU, as well as three more used by the GPU. A sixth heat pipe is used to cool down the VRMs and the graphics memory. Although the performance core clocks were not that bad, we observed a slightly warmer operation and limited results in the benchmarks. Now, this result is very interesting. The laptop can maintain its 140 watts power budget, but if you run it without the cooler boost function, it will heat up. A lot. 
In fact, using Cooler Boost lowers the temperature by 12 degrees Celsius. This is huge. And do you know what is even better, or weirder? The laptop is not too loud even when this function is enabled. Our advice would be, never turn it off, when you're gaming. Because the results can be clearly seen in the IR image below. The middle part of the keyboard goes above 60 degrees Celsius. This is a high enough temperature to sous vide beef. Not cool, MSI, quite literally. Overall, MSI Crosshair 15 is definitely not a bad device. It offers a good amount of performance, and its visual appeal is refreshing, if not else. However, we were baffled by its cooling. If you are an enthusiast, you will find a workaround. Either use the cooler boost option at all times or just make yourself a proper fan curve, via the MSI Control Center. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.